Coming up later, instead of spending money on a new table, Ken Wingard shows you how easy it is to update and refinish an old one. I, I still laughing from your rap. I, mean, I know. I, don't know I, I want to know how long you could have gone on. How long yeah. could you have sustained that? I would have messed up eventually. I'm human. No. <laughs> yeah, but in improv, no. there is no messing up. You just keep rolling. Yeah, right? I usually, yeah. if I mess up a word, I'll just call it out. <laughs> And say like in the I rap. messed that up in the rap. Yeah. Like, I, I messed, messed up the up. words, so I'm gonna <laughs> yeah. say it again. And yeah. Rock is gonna make some balls, balls and we're gonna be balling yeah. hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> balls made out of hands. You actually is said that... I ball hard. You know that, right? Yeah, she yeah. Said, said that. Yeah. That. Well, so he cooks hard record. too because he's won the James Beard Award. He's an award-winning chef. He's a health advocate and he's also the author of 12 highly acclaimed cookbooks, including his current New York Times bestseller. Current. He's had what? 12. This is your 12th one. Uh, 12th book. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. They right. let this anybody like write a book. I'm illiterate. Diet. I don't know how it's I get it. It's called the Negative Calorie Diet, and of course, we're happy to have you back, Chef Rocco. Thank you so much. It's so great to be back. I love cooking with you. So, when did your transition from your normal chef? From a big fat thing? slob to no, a No, I did not guy? say that, to a more healthier outlook on your cooking. I saw it in your eyes, though. No, uh, I, 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 I don't. Oh, oh look, you've got the picture. Thank oh, you so you much. Go. That's yeah. awesome. We do <laughs> have a picture. Keep They're it up cute. there a really long time. All right. Well, yeah. when did uh, you That's me 40 pounds heavier. It's about 10 years ago. So, you're oh. telling me there's a chance. Got it. It's called the negative calorie diet. So, what do Yeah, so a negative calorie food. So, here's what I figured out that there are a lot of foods, a big pile of foods that you are good for you to eat and then the the foods that are bad for you to eat are very small it's a very small amount you would never think that going into a store because the big food companies pay slotting fees so it's right, right in front of your face right. so I separated those two worlds and I just eat those foods the good foods and I call them negative calorie foods and they're negative calorie foods because they contain less calories than your body burns metabolizing them Oh, okay. Makes sense, common, right? Yeah. Is there a common one? Is the one you use? Water often? is the ultimate one. So water contains no calories, but your body uses burns one calorie, okay. metabolizing one ounce. So every twenty ounces of water you drink, you burn twenty calories. Oh, so well, let's extrapolate that water. to the world of water. vegetables yeah. and right. yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. drinking let's, water. Let's, yeah. Let's bring our, our food out for everyone, please. If they come from the kitchen, are you, what are, what are we serving, Chef? So uh, of course meatballs. Okay. Because I, I love I, that. you love my meatballs so much. Yeah, I do. But this is a oh. New, a totally new recipe. It's not Italian inspired. It's more like a, an American pot roast. It's got a spinach and mushroom gravy. And I use the same technique that I do to make my other meatballs healthy. I use puffed brown rice. Puffed brown rice. Puffed brown rice. Some puffed hippie brown. ingredients. Some chicken stock. Puffed brown. And Where a little salt and pepper. Uh, in the cereal aisle, it's it's oh. everywhere. People just pass it because it's in a, like it's huh. not in a big box with a cartoon character. Well, did you it. did you put it in a, a food grinder to make it? A you little, chop little... it. You can chop it. Put it in a blender. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So you puffed keep puffed rice. Okay. Puffed rice, right? That so looks you, delicious. But I haven't used one of these since I used to come home from school and make cakes from a box. <laughs> yeah, you know? it's a little blender. Yeah. Okay, everybody, you're gonna get wet meat on you right now. Yeah, okay. well, now don't, don't feel bad. It's okay. It is very uh, loose. It so is. How do, how, yeah. do you, how do you make it so the balls um, stay together? So you, you put less. You, you don't mess up like I did. Oh, you put you less, do, liquid. less yeah. liquid in it. Okay. So then you scoop them out. That's it. And when they're done properly, as opposed to what I did, they look, they look like that. Uh huh. And you cook them in a pan. For how? In a pan or the oven? Well, you start start in the pan. And um, and then they go into the gravy, right into the gravy. Mm. Mm, is that delicious? These are this so good. These are, These really are good. so good. Do you use regular yeah. brown rice if you want, or is, is the puff? You can, but you're, you'll increase the calories a lot. But they're good calories. There's they're nothing wrong. But with it's not rice. It's a cereal. It's not like rice. Also, it's like yeah, no, it's not rice. It's been like without the sugar. Yeah, exactly. It's been air popped. Yeah, if you use rice, it'll be a little corny. So what I have here are mushrooms and onions. I'm gonna add a lot of spinach, and then we're gonna add stock. It has great umami flavor. Did you, did you just say umami? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, mm -hmm. that is so <laughs> sexy. Umami. <laughs> Can't believe she knows about umami. I do. All right, so then we're gonna thicken the gravy with what we call a slurry. That is arrowroot and a little bit of the stock. Say it again, one more me. time. I'm, no, I'm Use your sexy voice. I'm my I've been really holding myself back. I don't want to ruin your segment. Someone as funny as you should never hold yourself back. <laughs> okay. All right, so. Meatballs is fantastic. <laughs> yeah. this is Bring us back to a G-rated show for daytime, okay? So I just put a bunch of spinach in a pan with onions and mushrooms. I thickened it with the Are they slurry. raw mushrooms, or did you? They were cooked. Them? They were they were pre-cooked. Yeah, with with. Ooh, this is very yeah. high, chef. Is that okay? It's very oh, good okay. to be high because I mean it's hot. Okay. So these go in here. 
they all cook wow. together. And you, you end up down. with this. Do you thicken it with anything? Yes, I thicken it with a arrowroot slurry. Arrowroot is a plant called arrowroot, and the. Um, did you say you, you have to slur arrow? What? Did you yeah. How did you, how do you make the slurry? So you make the slurry by adding some liquid to the powder, and it has to be in that order. So the powder, the powder has to be in the bowl. Uh -huh. It's called arrowroot. On, it's on the spice shelf. Right. Pour liquid on top. If you do it the other way, it doesn't work. And you use your fingers to dissolve the arrowroot, and then you that pour it into it. boiling Ooh. liquid, and it thickens it immediately. This is. It's and then you top it. Really, really Parmigiano delicious. Reggiano. Parmigiano. Can I ask you, since it's negative calories, yes, it's still a, a limit. You don't want to like no, indulge, right? No limit. This really? Is all no you can limit. eat food. I can eat 19. So really? I've not have told him that. I have written uh, five or six healthy cookbooks. I've focused on calories. I focused on grams of protein, carbs, fat. I've done calorie deficit. I, I figured out, and I don't know if you noticed, but I've, I'm even a little more trim now than I was last yeah, time. Yeah, I figured out that if you eat this specific set of foods, you can eat all you want. So and I can really eat pretty meatballs. Yeah, you could. It's you so could. good. Isn't if you it? and and the more you eat, the more you lose because your metabolic rate is going so high because of all the food that you're putting into to your body. Yeah. Dude, I'm losing weight as we this. speak. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. Watch like this for me. Told me to eat more and all Look at me. Food. Watch me. So now examples. Watch me lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> examples of Surely negative calorie have. foods are um, apples, pears, uh, citrus. Berries, leafy greens, cruciferous vegetables, something cruciferous. you don't want to eat on I love a first date, by the way. No, um, that gives you gas. Yeah, exactly. You don't want to do that. Almonds are a great uh, <laughs> stretch on a negative calorie idea. Almonds are nutrient dense. <laughs> and likes that. She, she likes, likes it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. I was just thinking, I'm fine with the cruciferous. Yeah. You know? Keeps no? it interesting. You yeah. Gotta, <laughs> if you're used to yeah. yeah. real. Yeah. We're going zero to later. It adds to the, the to din more? of the room, you know? The yeah, sound. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I like it because I like it hot off. But does anybody ever have a first date over dinner anymore? I, I, th I feel like a first date is a swipe now. I the think, left I or think right. Swipe to the left or right. Do you What is your cheat meal? Do you ever this go, is, this is, but is there anything, do you ever go out and eat? Like in and out burger. Like in and out burger. In and, I, do, I do every once in a while have an in and out burger. And how does your body pizza react to that? Favorite. Wow. Are you, does it, do you go like, it was going out and out? <laughs> yeah. No. Okay. Here's what um, I, every once in a while is okay. I, I live in an 80-20 world. If you're if you're okay and you're you're happy 80% of the time, you're doing really good. I like good. the way so you think. 20% of the time for you can mess day, up. You can get one of his books, and if you're one of our 10 lucky viewers, you can enter for a chance what? to win yes. his new cookbook, The Negative Calorie Diet. Just simply wander sign, over to our Facebook sign, page them, and get some information there. Full details on this recipe also shared on our website. There he goes. With Are you also oh, sure. All right, follow Rocco on his uh, uh, social media there at oh, the bottom yeah. of your screen. We're going to come back and Tanya. Yes, I'm going to show you how to, what to do with beautiful love letters and how they can make your house look amazing for Valentine's Day. All right.